Trans Surfer and the Trans Surfing Curious. My name is Renee Garcia and this is Trans Surfing TV. And today I'm going to talk about a very crucial part of reality trans surfing. And this is something that I personally struggled with for my first year, give or take, with switching over to this worldview and I realized at a certain point that I really had to immerse myself, right? I really had to immerse myself in this knowledge and switch over fully to this new way of thinking in order for it to really bear fruits and for me to really access those parallel realities that I at times would believe were there, but then I would switch back to my old mindset and go back to this more static version of reality. And this flip-flopping back and forth became very confusing and I've heard a lot of people talk about this in the community, sort of getting heavily involved, really seeing reality through those rose-colored lenses and then going back to that previous mindset and wondering, well, what the hell's happening? So I'm going to break it down for you in this video. If you are in fact struggling to properly immerse yourself in this quantum knowledge, right? This is really what the video is going to be about is how to dive in fully and see more benefits and more rewards from this knowledge. Before I get started, remember to like my video and comment below, my world has taken care of me to enter my daily giveaway for my reprogramming stickers, uh, Reality 2.0 on Teachable down below. Check it out, join us on Facebook. And really all these things that I've just suggested these stickers, joining us on Facebook, or following some other sort of social media that is going to keep you connected with this way of thinking, or taking the course, or taking a challenge, or watching these videos, or whatever it is, just to keep yourself connected. These stickers are really life-saving for me. I. I can't even begin, maybe I'll create a video on exactly how these stickers have helped me because it would take its own video, but really what it boils down to is I have these around my home and this way I'm constantly reconnecting with this version of reality, right? With this variation of reality and it's in that sort of steadfast connection, that, that methodical connection bringing me back around to the idea that we now have trans surfing. I now have trans surfing and this is a better, better model in which to see reality, right? So all of these things that I'm continuously suggesting, these are, these are things to use as pillars to help you stay connected if you want to see the rewards from this modality exponentially increase in your daily life. So this video, Quantum Immersion, I really, the reason that I named this video Quantum Immersion is because in, in my opinion, from my own layer of reality and my experience, I have two sort of worldviews that I can live in, two, two worldviews that are naturally accessible to me, right? Naturally. Obviously, there's the worldview that was formed pre-reality transurfing. This is a static worldview. This is an unmoving worldview. Oh, this is what I have, and oh, it's so hard, and all I can do is do my best and it may not be enough. And that typical, why, why is everything such a challenge? Oh, that could never happen for me, right? Oh, those sorts of things don't happen for me. All those kinds of thoughts, all that limited thinking, that is my, that is my pre-reality transurfing worldview. And then I have my transurfing worldview, my quantum worldview, my alternative space worldview, this new worldview that is very much, very much based 
on non-dualistic thinking. I will get more into that in a moment. Based on non-dualistic thinking, based on my ideas of how you tap in to a higher variation of reality. Again, acknowledging that that variation of reality exists resonating with that variation of reality, keeping your thoughts in line with that version of reality or thinking as though you are already accessing that version of reality and then taking action in the direction of that version of reality. So this is, this is my mind opening worldview, right? This is everything's accessible and I have the tools and the meta power to get to those variations of reality. Now, again, like I said, in the beginning for the first year, I realized the quantum benefit. I realized how the concepts were really a, uh, contributing to a new worldview and new success. But as soon as I took it for granted and I backed away from the knowledge a little bit, maybe I stopped listening to the audiobooks, maybe I stopped reading Transurfing. I didn't have a lot of social media at the time. I had no social media, in fact. So it was challenging for me to stay connected and I would fall back into my old worldview. So this happened a few times where I flip flopped back and forth and I was like, well, what's going on here? Why can't I seem to stay on the transurfing tip, right? Why can't I seem to, why can't I seem to fully merge with this knowledge and make this knowledge really put this knowledge in the forefront of my mind where this becomes my default way of thinking because that's what I wanted. And I was challenged to understand exactly how to do that until I realized that what this book is, what this book is intended for, what this book is attempting to do, what Vadim Zeeland is attempting to do, what I am attempting to do is help you reprogram your mind in the direction of reality transurfing. Opportunities, access to the alternative space, um, really gaining a firm understanding of what variations of reality exist for you to access and then what you need to do exactly to get there, right? This is the whole of Transurfing. It is a new program. That's why my, that's why my teachable course is called Reality 2.0, right? This is a new program. So what happens though is that old program has been running for so long. It's on default, right? Those are very, very um, well-worn <laughs> neuro pathways and ways of thinking, patterns of thinking, habits, all these things are so embedded in you that you can't simply just read the book and then switch over, right? It's going to take you returning back again and returning back again and catching yourself when you go back to that old program and reminding yourself, hey, wait a second, this is the new program and I want this to be my only program. So that gets me to my point that you can't have both, in my opinion. You cannot view reality as static through your old program and then at the same time view it as completely open and you have access to all these different variations of reality. You can't do both at the same time. So it's kind of like you know, where the rubber meets the road. It's time to make a commitment if you are flip-flopping back and forth. And again, lots and lots and lots of people message me, ask me questions about this exact subject. Hey, it looks so good, it looked so good, and now I'm suddenly back to my old program. So here's the good news. You can switch. But again, it takes a commitment and you have to fully immerse yourself. You have to commit to becoming a trans surfer full time. And this is essentially why I'm doing what I'm doing now. I mean, also, I do love to help people. I want, I feel that this is my purpose in life to help 
everyone that needs this information, I want to help people connect with it, right? And interpret it to a practical understanding. Now, it is a little bit of a secret. I've said this out loud a couple of times, but you know, for, for the sake of this video, a lot of what I'm doing right now is for my own selfish gains. This helps me, everything I'm doing, the Facebook group, the teachable course, creating lessons, giving seminars, doing one-on-one, -on -one, transurfing TV, it's all to help me stay immersed so I can continue being a transurfer full-time, right? So I'm going to talk a little bit about these, uh, these points here. Give up static reality for good. Commit to a broader worldview. Duality serves little purpose. Take a challenge and stay connected. And if any of these or all of these speak to you, maybe this video is now a sign that it's time to switch, right? And it's time to give up that static version of reality. So giving up a static, a static reality for good, a static um, perception of reality rather, is really about you calling to your mind the times that you really viewed reality as static and how they affected you and uh, how those how those times how those thoughts or perceptions about reality affected you in a negative way so for me my static reality was everything's always going to be a struggle right um everything's always going to come the hard way this is what i've got and i gotta make the best, I, I kind of do the best with it that I can, but I'm limited in my abilities. I'm limited in um, my opportunities, all that kind of thinking. And this is, this in, in of itself is an extreme challenge for a lot of people because what I think happens is people find reality transurfing and they think, oh, this is amazing, this is so great and this is really something that I feel can work for me. But then at a certain time, like I was saying, happened to me and happens to a lot of other people, that old program comes in and negates your feelings about this. Oh, but, you know, it's just too hard to seek out new opportunity or it's just too hard to continue on the path of finding heart and mind coordination. So it's kind of like you just fall back into the path of least resistance, right? But there is a benefit. I mean, there's no real way around. You're gonna have to go through and going through is really coming to an understanding of how opening up your mind to the alternative space, the quantum field and giving up your static version of reality for good. Giving up that, that idea that whatever beliefs you hold in this moment are static and that's your box that you exist in and there's nowhere else to go. So this, this is kind of the first step, committing to a broader worldview. So I have a video that is going to come out called There Is No Truth. Right, and this is, this is an idea that if you can take the stance that I know nothing, right? I don't, I don't, I don't know anything and, and my beliefs are pliable and I am in an active state of non-dualistic thinking and I believe there are evidence, there is evidence to support all theories. Now, if you, if you can merge over to that way of thinking and stop with the, the dualistic thinking, right? This is good, this is bad, this is right, this is wrong. I like this political party or I like this thing, but I don't like this thing and those people are bad, right? It's good when I get money. It's bad when I get fired for my job. If you can stop with all this throwing things into one pile or another, reality really opens up for you in a way that everything Every single event, every bit of information and material that comes into your reality can be used 
to do something positive with. And it is the, exactly what I was just talking about, uh, accepting non-dualistic thinking, accepting that you don't have the answers, accepting this very, very open state. This, in my opinion, is exactly how you commit to a broader worldview and open yourself up. So this may mean for some people, it's time to give up some stuff. Right? Maybe it's time to give up the media. Maybe it's time to give up divisive politics. Maybe it's time to separate from uh, dysfunctional relationships. Maybe it's time to stop making excuses and start taking action and really open up and, and go into your external environment in a way where you feel that everything is accessible to you. Getting to the non-dualistic um, thinking and that duality serves little purpose. One of the best things that I've ever done for myself, ever, is to really immerse myself in the act of non-dualistic thinking and, and challenging myself on a daily basis when I am approaching something from a place of duality. I was just out for a walk about an hour ago and I set some stuff down in a park that I go to so I could walk some laps with my dog and my AirPods and their little case got stolen. And my initial response is obviously what anyone would think, oh, that sucks, right? Oh, that sucks. My stuff just got stolen. Um, whoever did that's a shitty person, right? And then I caught myself and I'm like, wait a second. You may not, you may not gain the insight of why this event was good for you, but you absolutely do believe that there's some reason, even if you can't see it, there's some reason that that event is, you're gonna actually benefit from that event in some way, if you can see it or not. So if you can get your brain working in this opposite direction of what is, you know, what is uh, intuitive to us, this is, this is really a, a place where so much can be harvested, so much. And again, it takes practice. And I would suggest, you know, maybe reading a couple of things like, David Hawkins, Letting Go, this is an amazing book. He's a great um, non-dualistic thinker, love that book. And, you know, in a lot of regards, Transurfing is definitely about non-dualistic thinking as well. So this is, in my opinion, to fully immerse, quantum immersion, switching over to become a full-time Transurfer, the inversion technique advantage, and really approaching reality from a place of non-duality is absolutely key. Um, if you're challenged to, you know, I hear a lot of people, well, this all sounds great, but I don't know what to do, right? I don't know how to take action. And the thing is, we are sort of, we are sort of trained to retract to our little boxes of comfort, right? Our little comfort zone that we don't like to expand up out of because that can be risky. Right. So so taking a challenge, my 30 anomalous action challenge, we're doing the the quantum boot camp challenge right now. Watch those videos if you haven't heard what those challenges are. But this is you setting the intention and taking the initiative to learn how to take action, to learn how to come out of your comfort zone, to learn how to do something in another direction to learn how to think outside the box. This is all what these challenges are about. It's you taking anomalous action to exit your comfort zone. So much exists outside of your comfort zone. It is like, you know, <laughs> you're accessing 0.0001% right now and there's an infinite number of variations and variabilities that you can access, but you are not going to access those things doing the exact same thing that you're doing day after day after day after day after day. 
Number five, stay connected. This is a big one, and this is why I've created everything that I have, because God, when I found Transurfing, I really wish that there were this many resources, a Facebook group, a YouTube channel, the, the teachable course. God, I would have signed up for that in a, in, a, in a moment because there were no resources, and I have since created everything really that I feel somebody could want, either that costs money or doesn't cost money. If you want to read the book, you can read the book. If you don't want to read, you can access the audiobook on on this channel. And what I suggest for anybody that is super challenged right now to properly immerse themselves in this knowledge is keep the audiobook running. Keep the audiobook running in the background at a low volume. You don't even have to be tuned into it, but your brain will know that it's there, right? Your brain will know that it's there. So stay connected, network with people that are transurfers, do a creative project about transurfing, create something to help others learn, uh, make a video, talk on the Facebook group, do something, but stay connected to the knowledge until you feel you have adequately and properly immersed yourself to a point where this becomes reality 2.0, right? The new program. So sorry for the long video, everyone. I felt like it was time to really dive into quantum immersion and what I do to stay immersed in this knowledge, how it helps me and my God, it has completely changed absolutely every aspect of my reality. And I'm so happy that I made the commitment to become a full-time trans server. Let me know your thoughts and your questions. Remember to like this video and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.